Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to talk about how to read tags from a Micro 800 PLC to a Compact Logics or Control Logics PLC. Now, if you're looking to do the opposite, read tags from a Control Logics or Compact Logics PLC into a Micro 800 PLC, we also have a video on that. Look down in the description, we'll have a link to it. Also, please take a moment to like our video and subscribe to our channel. We put out at least one automation video a week. And any questions that come up, feel free to put them in the comments. Your question this week could easily be next week's automation topic. And for this video, we are using our Compact Logics PLC trainer, and we've just added the Micro 820 PLC beside of it. So we're going to be programming in both Connected Components Workbench software and in Studio 5000. Now let's start with the Connected Components Workbench software since it's going to be the easier one. Really all we're going to do is make a program with some tags in it for us to read out of the Compact Logics PLC. So let's start with a new program and we'll just call this Compact Logics Read and go to Controllers, Micro 820. And we're going to be using a 2080 LC2020 QWB. So we'll select it and add to project. And let's go ahead and set our IP address. And this is a little bit of a unique situation because on all of our trainers, the default IP address of our PLC is 192.168.110. And then 11 is the HMI, 12 is the drive on the other side of the trainer. And since we've added this kind of on the side, we're going to need to make it 13. So let's make this 192.168.113 with a subnet of 255, 255, 255, 0. And then let's go to our global variables and we're going to create a tag called logics read. And it will be a dent type or a double integer. And for the dimensions, put 1.10. That's going to make an array of 10 underneath this logics read tag. And that's it for our program. Let's go ahead and download this. And if you need any help downloading your program or configuring your ethernet or even a serial driver, look down in the description. We have videos on all of that. And once you're done, switch back to run mode and go ahead and pop open these global variables one more time so we can remember what that tag was. So our tag is called logic read. So remember that, and now let's go on into Studio 5000 for the Control Logics and Compact Logics PLC. And let's go ahead and create a new one, and we're going to be using a 1769L16ER-BB1B. And we'll just call this our Compact Logics Read. And then if you're using one of our standard trainers, then the expansion I.O. needs set to zero. We've got some extra modules on here for some other videos we're doing, so we're going to use four here. It's very important that you get that part right, because otherwise your PLC is going to fault the moment you go to run mode. Okay, so now let's go into our main routine. And first, let's set up a timer because we can make this message instruction constantly pull this, but it's probably unnecessary and it's going to tie up bandwidth. Really, we're going to read this once every 100 milliseconds. So we're going to create a timer to start with. We're bringing a TON down. And then we're just going to call this our sample rate. And we'll create a new one. And it'll be a data type of timer. Then let's go to our favorites tab and bring on an examine off instruction. And we're going to look at that sample rates done bit. And then we're going to have a preset of 100. And what this is going to do is every 100 milliseconds, this timer is going to be done for one scan. And we're going to use that to trigger our message instruction. So we're going to add another rung and bring down an examine on instruction. And we're going to look at the sample rate dot D in bit. And then we're going to use a message instruction. And we're going to go ahead and just give it a tag of micro 800 read. And we'll create that as a data type of message. And then we'll open it up. And for the message type, we are going to use a CIP data table read. 
And once you select it, then you're going to need to know that source element from Connected Components Workbench, which we can pop back over if we're not sure. And it's going to be Logics Read. So we'll put in Logics Read 1. And for our destination, we'll actually need to create a tag for that. And we'll call this our Micro 800 Data. And we will make it a double integer and a size of 10. Create. And then our number of elements will also be 10. The next thing we need to do is set our communications path. Now this is a little tricky. The first number is a little tricky and we're going to go through a little more detail of that in a later video. But for our quick, let's just do a message instruction. We need to use the number two comma and the IP address. So it's going to be two comma 192.168.1.13. And that's going to be the path to our PLC. Click OK. And let's go ahead and download this program. Now, similarly to our Connected Components Workbench, we have videos on how to create programs, configure Ethernet drivers, download all of that. So just look down in the description if you're having any trouble with that. OK, and we're done. And we're back in Run Node. So let's open up our controller tags and go to Monitor Tags. And let's look at that Micro 800 data, which right now it's showing a zero. So let's go over here to our Logics Read and Connected Components Workbench and put in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. And now we'll go over here and we have that tag in our Compact Logics PLC. So there is a quick primer on how you can use messaging instructions to read data from a Micro 800 PLC into a Control Logics PLC or a Compact Logics PLC. In later videos, we're going to go through more, a more in-depth study of, you know, what do all those values mean? What can you do with the CIP generic messaging? And also, how do those path works? And probably most importantly, and I see mostly overlooked in programs, which I left out of this program as well, is how do we add diagnostics to know when we're not actually communicating? Because really on this one, when you pull the plug on our Micro 800 PLC, well, one, in the Connecting Components Workbench, there's going to be no clue because it's reading out of it. But even in the Studio 5000, it's not abundantly clear that something is wrong with it. But we can add some code to resolve that and make sure we know when there's a communications problem. So make sure you subscribe. Please hit that like button on this video and any questions that come up or if you have any video suggestions, put them down in the comments. Till next time. Hi, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.